Well, I mean, you can't go wrong with any of that stuff. I find it interesting, though, with that first record kind of coming up a little bit into the middle of the pack, which I was very happy to see because I love that record. And I would imagine with that, when you talk about songwriting, I mean, that's a record that those songs you had been writing and working yeah. on and playing for a number of years before getting that record deal. But you told me during the break an interesting story about the lyrics on that first record. Yes. The late John Rutsey was your drummer, mm -hmm. and uh, he was also the lyricist. Tell the story. This is interesting. Yeah, he, w he was our lyricist and our kind of MC back in the early days. And if you see the early footage that's on that R40 package, you can see him announcing the songs. And, and uh, when, we were, when I was due to do record all the vocals for the first album, we were waiting for the finished lyrics from John, and he came in and said that he was unhappy with them, so he tore them all up. And so, you know, it was really expensive for us to be in the studio in those days. We were working the midnight shift. We would be playing a bar in Toronto, unload from the bar, move to the studio, load in the studio, and record all night, and then go home and sleep and go back to the bar the next day. So. We couldn't mess around, and you know, basically everybody looked at me and said, "You have to write lyrics." So I, the first album's lyrics, I wrote basically on the spot, wow. and sang them <laughs> over the next two days, and that's the way the album ended up. So you walk up to a microphone to sing your first record, pretty much writing the the words pretty, as you sang them. Yeah. Pretty much. Wow.